Hey, it's Noel from creationeffects.com and I'm gonna show you how to get this cool graffiti effect on your footage in After Effects. And I'll be using the graffiti effect template from Creation Effects. Uh, the template lets you just drop in your footage and get this look, uh, but it also comes with a lot of customization options so it's very flexible. So you can change the level of detail and add an outline. Uh, you can have your graffiti play over one wall or have a, a different wall on each frame. You can choose how much of this other graffiti that you see around your footage. And it comes with a, a spray on effect and some spray can sound effects. And it works on photos and graphics and text. So you can turn something like this simple graphic into this. All right, so this isn't a complicated template and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. Uh, when you download the zip file from the site, you need to unzip it and open the After Effects project file inside. And then you'll see this comp with instructions in it. And the first thing these instructions tell you to do is import your footage and place it in the comp named Your Footage, which is found right here. So let's do that. I'll go to File and Import. And choose this clip of someone on a skateboard. Here it is. So I'll just drag that into the Your Footage comp. And then you have a couple different options here. You can go with the Graffiti Effect Normal Comp here, which has your footage playing at 30 frames per second on a single wall background. Or you can do the Graffiti Effect Stop Motion Comp, and you'll see your footage play with a low frame rate, and it will look like a, a series of static paintings on a bunch of different walls. And you can always start out with the normal version and then transition to the stop motion version, which is uh, what I did in the demo video. You would just nest this comp into this comp and then shorten the layer to wherever you want that transition to happen. So let's look at the graffiti effect normal comp first. Uh, the most important thing to note here is you have this control layer at the top. So select that, and then in your Effect Controls panel, you'll see all these slider controls for customizing the look of the effect. And if you're not seeing this panel, you can go to Windows and Effect Controls, and make sure that Animation Presets is turned off. I won't go into detail about these because you can play with them and see what they do. There's some fill and outline controls, and uh, you can change the detail level. If you need to know what any of these are for, you can read about them in this instructions comp at the top, which you can just unhide and isolate to read it. Uh, this next layer adds a handheld camera effect uh, through the use of some simple wiggle expressions, which you don't really need to know about. And then further down, we have the matte layer called matte spray on paint area. So, this layer determines how the image is sprayed onto the wall and where on the wall it will appear. And we can edit all of that if we double click this comp to open it up. And you can see there are several options here which you can choose from. So just turn on the one that you want to use so it's visible. And you can adjust the duration of the spray on action by selecting the layer and revealing the keyframes by hitting the U key. And then you can adjust the keyframes to make the animation quicker or slower. And if you want, you can go inside the paint effect here and change the properties of the spray as well. And also, if you want to change the size of this paint area, just adjust the scale or position properties of the layer. Ultimately, whatever is white in this comp is where your footage will show up in the final effect. Okay, back in the Graffiti Effect Normal Comp, uh, there, there's one more customization option that I want to mention because a lot of you may want to do it, and that's changing the wall background. This template has 80 different wall images in here in the Images folder. And rather than just dragging one in, there's a better way to do it so that you can still control this background using the control layer. So what you can do is select this layer and then select an image up here and then hold down the Alt or Option key and drag the image file onto the layer. 
and that'll change the source file of this layer while preserving all of the effects and expressions and settings of the layer. All right, now let's take a quick look at the graffiti effect stop motion comp. I actually prefer this look myself. It's, uh, it's similar to the comp that we just looked at, but it has this stop motion quality built into it, and it uses a random wall image with each frame change. Um, before I get into how to customize this, it's important to note that the stop motion effect layer here can cause some really slow processing times if you're using After Effects Creative Cloud version. So if you're on Creative Cloud and this comp is taking a long time to load, just turn this layer off while you customize the look of your spray painting, and then you can turn it back on when you're ready to preview it or render it. And it may take a long time to load that first frame, but after the first frame comes up, the rest of the comp will render at a uh, more normal speed. Okay, uh, customization. So again, you have your control layer at the top. Uh, it's got all the same customization options as the other comp. Uh, but below that is a different layer. It's the stop motion effect I just talked about. And this is the effect that adds the low frame rate and it also adds subtle fluctuation to the position and scale and rotation and exposure of the comp. So the final effect looks more like a bunch of different snapshots of graffitied walls and they were all edited together to look like an animation. So you can edit all of those properties of the stop motion effect with the controls that are on the layer itself. So you can just select the layer and then you'll see the controls in the effect controls panel. And I'd suggest that you play with some different frame rates here and see what you like. Further down, we have a matte layer again called Matte Dynamic Paint Area. I'll open that up. And this one's a little different. It doesn't have the spray on effect because I thought it just didn't work very well with the low frame rate and the walls changing. But you can see it has different kinds of paint strokes here and they'll randomly change with each new wall image in your final effect. And if you want to customize the paint strokes, you have a ton of options in the control layer here with these controls. And if you want to change the size or position of the paint area, you can just select a layer. I'll isolate this one. And then you can edit the mask or move it around. Also note you've got this drips layer here, which is supposed to imitate the paint dripping down the wall. So you may have to adjust the mat on that layer as well so that the drips stay located underneath the paint strokes. All right, further down we have a, a couple graffiti layers and these are all that additional graffiti that shows up on each frame in the areas surrounding your footage. And you can decrease or increase how much of that graffiti you see by opening these pre-comps and then selecting the control layer and you've got a bunch of controls here that you can play around with if you want, but I just want to show you uh, at the bottom these layer blinking controls because these allow you to set how often all of these graffiti layers turn on and off because um, these are all high-res photos of real graffiti and they move all around and they get blended together and they're constantly blinking on and off randomly. So you can turn up or down this maximum on time control here and that will let you essentially turn up or down the graffiti level. And lastly, you've got your dynamic wall texture at the bottom here. And if you decide you don't want a background where the wall changes on every frame and you would rather just have a single wall image, uh, it's an easy edit. I'll isolate this layer. And I recommend that you find the wall image you like by scrubbing through your timeline. And then you can add a freeze frame effect to pause the layer at that frame. And that'll let you keep the function that's programmed into this layer. So that's everything I wanted to show you. I'll let you get to it. Um, remember to subscribe if you want to hear when I come out with new effects. I'm always working on something like VHS effects or glitch effects um, or the newest big one, which was art effects. And you can also like the Facebook page for Creation Effects and stay up to date that way. Thanks for watching.